So this day in the life video has been requested by a few people and I thought I would go ahead and do it now. Alice is just over two months old. She's like ten and a half weeks. Um, I'm afraid it's going to end up being really boring because pretty much, you know, at this point she's calling the shots. I just kind of do what she's up for and what she's interested in and I think some of like the most important things that I can give her at this point um, just aren't going to look like much on camera. It's just like, you know, the time I spend holding her and rolling around on the floor and, um, you know, just talking to her and stuff. So I'm interested to do this video again further down the road when she is actually involved in activities and um, we'll see how our lives are different. Thank you guys for um, coming along with us today. Alice is just waking up. I heard her kicking around in her bassinet. <laughs> so we're going to do a diaper change and then I'll nurse her in bed. She'll probably go back to sleep. It's 6 and she went to bed last night around 11.30. So she slept for six and a half hours. All right. Hi, baby. Hey, guys. All right, so we're a little bit off schedule already. It's 8.30. Alice decided not to go back to sleep um, like she normally likes to. So I just got her to doze off, but I think that it's not gonna last. So really fast, I need to jump in the shower. Mike just left for work. Normally I try to take a shower before he leaves. Um, so otherwise it just makes everything harder, but it didn't happen today. Um, Alice also puked all over me and the sheets. So I've got to wash the sheets from our bed today. Um, I do need to throw her diapers in the, in the laundry right now because I'll show you um, the wet bag is totally overflowing. So you need to get that started. Um, it is a Thursday, so I don't go into work today, thankfully. Um, just Mike goes, so Allison, I don't have a car. We're going to be mostly around, um, around the house today. If this was a work day for me, I would already have left. Um, I would be at work from 8.30 to, to 12. Um, but I do have some work to do from home today, so I'm really trying to make up some make up for lost time and get that stuff done this morning, get it to my boss. So these are the diapers for two days. We have two wet bags, this is the smaller one, and so it is completely overflowing. I'm gonna put them in for a rinse cycle and come back for the wash cycle later. Okay, so far so good. Alice is still napping. I'm fully dressed, and I have managed to get my half cup of coffee for the day, some yogurt, and I've got my setup for work, so I'm gonna try to get some transcription done before she wakes up. It is a little bit after nine, and I've also got the diapers on the wash cycle. Good morning, Alice. <laughs> it is 10 o'clock, and I finished my work project, and Alice is awake. So we're gonna get dressed and change diapers, and I think we're gonna go to the library. Maybe eat a little bit first, we'll see. Okay. Okay, we are just about ready to go. Alice is going to hang out here on the play mat for a second while I switch the laundry. And then we're off. Have fun, baby. <laughs> okay, we just went to the library and now we're in the little park a couple blocks from our house. Here's Alice being super sweet. Oh, baby. Okay. Um, I'm trying to show you the border. One of the bridges is like right there. So pretty much right here is the border and everything else you see is Mexico. Those mountains are Mexico. There's a playground there. Yep, this is our little park. We're gonna keep walking. So being in the sling has put Alice to sleep like it always does. I'm going to put her in her bassinet. Although I don't expect her to sleep that long. Um, it is noon. And I feel pretty good that we got in our exercise already. I'm loving that it's a cloudy day because we only have about 50 days a year here that are overcast. Um, so it's like really novel and exciting. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go eat some leftovers and then hopefully have a little bit of time to 
do some straightening up, empty the dishwasher, that kind of stuff. I'll check in when she wakes up. So as expected, um, Alice was only down for maybe 10 minutes, but I did have time to heat up my food and transition to the living room. So this is where we'll be, where we'll be hanging out most of the afternoon, um, just nursing her as she wants and reading books and just kind of hanging out. Got some library books for her, some for me, and we have this book that we got, I think we registered for it, um, but I've been reading her a story from this book once a day. So by the end of the year, we'll have read the whole book and kind of pick favorites, and maybe we'll end up doing that every year, but that's one of our little afternoon rituals, too. Oh, baby. Yep. I'm just hanging out for a while. <laughs> hi. Say hi. Eat lunch. Oh, I'm having a leftover succotash with uh, Christmas lima beans, which I love, and limeade. So we got. You were just. You like this project, huh? You're into it. Okay, it's about one o'clock, and we had another change of plans. Alice had a little bit too much energy to just sort of read and um, even feed real well, so we're gonna play a little bit. Um, she before anybody complains about anything. Um, she does not sleep in her crib yet. This is just a play space for now. She sleeps in the bassinet and it's empty. Um, so I don't leave her unattended with all the toys and stuff anywhere near here. But um, I'm right here. I'm going to fold our diapers and put them away. And Alice um, looks at the mobile and sometimes she looks out the window. She plays with the mirror here. And she's just starting to pick things up um, like this ball sort of um, push it around, or that little Sophie giraffe, and she also loves this little piano, so I'll play with, uh, I'll play that for her. She really likes it, huh? So we're just going to have a little bit of quiet playtime. Oh, and we also just had our sixth diaper change. Um, I haven't been keeping track of how many diapers she goes through in a day, but that's six since 11.30 last night when we put her to sleep. And like I said, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so we'll see how many you go through during the day. I generally don't let her um, be wet or anything. If I uh, can tell that her diaper is wet or dirty, I just change it right away. So maybe I change more than other people. I don't know. Um, I think with cloth, you change more. Anyway, that's where we're at. Okay, so it is now 3 o'clock. Alice nursed for about an hour from, like, I don't know, 1.30 to 2.30. And then I lay down with her to try to get her to take a nap, which usually works, but she's just fighting it. Um, yep, she's just not feeling sleep right now. So we spent some time on the porch, and now she is in her bouncer. I had to pull out the little uh, noise machine. And she's just having fun with it, kind of kicking around. Not looking tired at all yet, but there are just a couple of things that I need to do. So um, I need to pay a couple of bills and get them in the mail before they go out. So um, I need her to just kind of hang out for a minute. I also need to attend to um, some food because I've been, uh, well, I'll show you. Um, I have, uh, I'm cooking dried beans in a crock pot. I uh, soaked them overnight, you know, I love my crock pot, that was like one of the first YouTube videos I made. Um, so then I've been cooking them today and I need to drain them. And what I'm going to do with these white beans is mix them with, um, when they cool, a uh, can of tuna and some vegetables and some lemon juice and spices and then that'll be lunch for tomorrow. Um, it's one of our favorite sort of high protein lunches. So I need to get these rinsed because they're done cooking. So. Um, I'm going to try to work on that and hopefully Alice will let me get a little bit accomplished. It is now almost 4 o'clock and I did get my bills paid and I checked in with my boss and I got a head start on my on dinner and the rest can wait till Mike gets home. Um, Alice listened to some music and practiced her air karate chops and um, now she is um, feeding happily. And we are well positioned for our Guilty Pleasures Hour, in which we watch Oprah and eat chocolate. Mm. 
He's gonna roll around a little bit. Huh? And kick around, girl. <laughs> okay, so it's now 7 o'clock. Mike got home from work um, maybe 20 minutes ago. And between Oprah time and now, pretty much been um, totally consumed with trying to get Alice to go to sleep. She is finally napping. I think she fell asleep at about 6.30. And that's the first nap I've been able to get her to take for longer than like 10-15 minutes since 10 this morning. This is our great challenge. She just, you can tell she's so tired, but she just fights naps during the day so bad. And, um, you know, we've been really blessed that she sleeps so well at night. That's never been, um, you know, it's never been any trouble. But, man, just, we've been doing a lot better, but today just ended up being really an off day, nap-wise. So, the downside of that is it really derails, sort of, me getting stuff done or just having some me time. It really, it's really important to at least have like an hour or two where I'm not just doing house chores. Um, it's really important for me to do something creative. I have a few different little craft projects that I try to make progress on a little bit every day. I haven't touched a computer all day long except to do work this morning. Um, so I'd really like to just have some time to check my email and, you know, maybe watch videos <laughs> or something. But today just wasn't the day. So luckily she's sleeping now. Um, luckily, I uh, today's dinner was easy because it's um, I made double batch yesterday of a chicken pozole stew. So I just can heat it up and I'm finishing a salad right now. So um, we don't have dinner to worry about. But man, the past two and a half hours were really challenging. Um, that's something I really hope improves the time, and I'm sure it will. What finally worked was swaddling and bouncing on the yoga ball and humming and nursing <laughs> and pretty much anything I could pull out of my bag, but um, yeah, I'm pretty tired. So hopefully she won't sleep so long that she'll have trouble going to sleep tonight. We'll see. Um, Meg and I are going to go have some time just together. Um, while she's out. I'd have dinner and relax a little bit. So once she was in baby jail, or the swaddle, um, she didn't really want to come out, but it's 9 o'clock, and she's going to need to eat and take a bath and stuff before we go back to bed, so... It's 10 o'clock and we're back where we started. Oh, I saw that little smile. Um, she's still kind of a fussy pants, but Thanks for joining us today and um, spending the day with little newbie Alice. Maybe we'll do this again a few months from now, just for a comparison. Okay, say good night. Good night, Al. You act all cute for the camera and then you act all bad when it turns off. <laughs> Alright. Good night.